we want to determine the limit if it exists. We have the limit of the rational function as x approaches six. We can determine the limit of a rational function by performing direct substitution as long as the rational function does not have discontinuity at x equals six. The easiest way to test for this would be to perform direct substitution and check the result. So let's perform direct substitution, which would give us six to the fourth minus 16 divided by the quantity two times six squared minus 15 times six plus 28. Again, if we don't have division by zero or the indeterminate form, then this will equal the limit. So going to the calculator, notice the result is 128, which means the limit equals 128, and we do not have discontinuity at x equals six. Let's also just verify this using a table of values as well as the graph of the function. Looking at the table, notice as we approach x equals six from values less than six, the function values are approaching 128. And as we approach six from values greater than six, again, the function values are approaching 128, verifying the limit. If we look at the graph of the original function, let's sketch a vertical line on x equals six, which is here. This is a little more difficult to tell, but as we approach x equals six from the left, and from the right, we can see we are approaching this point here where the function value or y value is 128. I hope you found this helpful.